So, you want to get custom with your page layouts. No problem, Shift makes it easy. You can create layouts with as many different columns or rows as you'd like. You can then insert your blocks into your custom layout. This gives you unlimited possibilities of how you'd like to lay out your page. To add your own layouts, simply click on the Add To option below the area you want to insert your layout and then select Add Layout. Choose the number of columns and rows that you want for your layout. So that your columns aren't hard pressed up against each other, it's a good idea to put a default spacing of say 20 pixels. You can put as many blocks as you'd like into each of your columns, or move blocks around your columns. This gives you incredible flexibility. To add vertical spacing between blocks, use your spacer block. Please be aware, layouts aren't tables. If you need to create a table with a spreadsheet-like grid of your content with everything lined up, you can create a table from your content block. We recommend against tables as from our experience they tend to make websites look a tad messy. As you probably know, your website comes preset with different page types featuring common layouts like full width pages, left sidebar pages, or right sidebar pages. These layouts suit most people. We recommend you base your page designs off these page types without using any custom layouts because the best looking websites usually keep to a consistent look. If you'd like to get custom, however, Shift offers you great flexibility with the Add Layout app. If you want to get custom, what you'd do is use page types in conjunction with adding your own layouts to create the perfect page design. For example, let's say that you'd like to make the left sidebar bigger. You can't change the size of the preset page designs. What you'd actually do is first select the full width page type. This will create a blank canvas for you to then get creative. You then click add to main and add layout. You then select a two column one row layout with let's say 20 pixels separating the columns. This will produce you a new layout on your page. You then want to click and drag the sidebar from the above layout and drag it to the width that you see fit. Once you like the width you've created, it's a good idea to lock the layout. To do this, click on the plus icon at the top of the layout and click edit layout. Then tick lock widths. You can of course add blocks to each column by simply selecting Add To below the column you've just created and selecting Add Block. If you'd like to use this layout you've created on other pages, it's a good idea to create a preset by ticking the box Save the Style as a New Preset and giving it a name. This means next time you select an Add Layout, you can choose this preset layout from a drop down menu. At any time you can edit your layout by clicking the plus icon above. You can add columns or rows or adjust spacing. By clicking the plus icon you can also move the layout, set up or down, or delete it. The key thing to understand about creating custom layouts is they can be inserted anywhere in your content area, so you'll want to use a good page design as a starting point and add your custom layout to slot into it from there.